Deputies say they put the life of a six-month-old in danger. Tonight, six people face charges after police in Laurel County tried to track down a fugitive. Deputies arrested five people at the home on charges related to meth. Deputies tell us one of the women inside the home had her baby with her. The baby's grandma was called to come pick up the baby, but when she arrived, police say she was in no state to care for the baby. Victor Puente has the latest on the case. Laurel County Sheriff's deputies tell me that when they got to this home, they found a lot more than the fugitive they were looking for. Laurel County Sheriff's deputies were searching for 53-year-old Timothy Fields when they came to this home on McWhirter Road. And he had made the statement to his acquaintances, I'm not going to be taken alive, I'm going to kill any law enforcement officers that try to arrest me. They say when they found Fields, he came peacefully, but had 71 grams of crystal meth on him. The man who owned that home, 52-year-old Billy Fouts, was also arrested after a struggle. Police say he also had meth and a warrant out for his arrest. Two women at the home, 34-year-old Joyce Nance and 23-year-old Tiffany Johnson, were also arrested and charged with possession. Police found Johnson's six-month-old son in the home, so she's also been charged with wanton endangerment. They say while they were making those arrests, 50-year-old Johnny Turner came to the home they found Xanax, oxycodone, and a glass pipe on him. As the group was being booked, they allowed Tiffany Johnson to call her mother to come get her son. Well, she called her mother, and her mother consumed six beers before she came to the sheriff's office and was expecting to leave with her grandchild uh, under the influence. 58-year-old Donna Johnson was charged with DUI and careless driving. We've solved some problems out in that community uh, as far as probably thefts and, and drug trafficking by putting these people in jail. After Donna Johnson was arrested, social services took over placement of her grandson. In Laurel County, Victor Puente, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. All six people will be arraigned tomorrow morning.